Welcome to a new update and in this update we are going to discuss a few altcoins which you have been requesting after the update of this morning. So we're going to discuss a few of those and I think the altcoins have been bouncing back swiftly in the past hours as Bitcoin has held a crucial level for support. If you want to know more about my TA uh, which is not covered on YouTube check out my Twitter and Instagram which you can find in the description beneath. Also do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel which is completely free and helping me a lot to grow this channel and also do not forget to like this YouTube update and check out our newsletter which is 15 euros a month, 3 issues per week in which we are all giving insights about the markets and also do not forget to check out our platform where I'm sharing my portfolio, we are making fundamental reports, trade IDs and being a community to help you invest in the cryptocurrency markets. So when we're discussing the requests for today, we have to head over towards the actual charts. So let's get towards the charts and see what you have been requesting. When we are discussing the TA of those altcoins, there's a few that have been running quite swiftly. So the first one that you have requested is Matic Network, which I've been covering in the request last week too. We have been stating something important about the price action of Matic. We have been saying that it has been ranging in sideways action. And after that, we have been calling the actual breakout in which a retest would result into a move towards the next resistance zone, which can be found between 5200 and 5800. So in this point, we've had a beautiful run, right? So we've had a retest, previous higher retest, run back up. And we broke above that range area that we have been concluding or we have been discussing previously. And after all, you just want to enter after the retest, which has been happening now too. Beautiful retest taking place. And after that, we concluded that either you can use horizontal price action for a take profit level, or you can use Fibonacci extension to derive that one. And then you get towards the conclusion that anywhere in this region around 5,500, is actually where I would like to take profits on this impulse move. What does this mean? Well, actually, if you want to enter Matic at this point, the best entry is probably gone for this one. So you preferably want to wait it out until this one starts consolidating like we have been seeing here as well. Um, and then we get some retest around the area of 4,000 sets or potentially even 3,500 sets before you want to start getting into the entry point again. What it also tells us is that altcoins are still showing strength and not only Matic has been doing great, but also Ethereum, which I've been stating today that we might be looking at Ethereum pairs way more than Bitcoin pairs. Ethereum has also been doing great. And next to that, we've also been seeing strength on Luna. So when we're looking at Matic against Bitcoin, the best entry is gone and I'd rather want to start looking for take profits as we've just been seeing a pretty heavy strength on the actual uh, altcoin at this point. The second one I want to discuss is a group of altcoins that might be getting into a new cycle at this point, uh, which we'll be definitely be covering relatively soon on this YouTube channel, which is coins like Tezos, Litecoin, EOS, the relatively old ones that have been underperforming massively. What do we see in the recent hours for Tezos? We do see that in higher time frame support has been hit once again. We have been hitting this range low, uh, which has been tested on and on. As we can see, we've been seeing a rally afterwards in 2021. Heavy correction since too, in which we retest support. Breakout happening and another run taking place um, at the later part in August and September, through which Q4 is corrective which we have been seeing when it comes to TESOLs and now we are correcting or we have been bouncing quite swiftly from the support zone and therefore we are at the range high as we know that we're not breaking out yet but we are potentially shifting the trend at this point. What does it mean? When it comes to the daily time frame I would prefer I'd want to look at potential entry points around 9300 sets. So you want to look at a potential entry here for TESOLs in which you also want to start accumulating or looking at uh, confirmations of higher lows and higher highs. So we've had seen this breakout happening previously too. Breakout, retest, continu continuation. Breakout, retest, continuation. What are the TPs? 
um, I think you're looking at the piece around this range high, which is 19,000 sets. And then after that, you're going to use the Fibonacci extension. But it shows that altcoins are actually eager to start breaking out. And as I said, December is the period that you want to buy those altcoins. One of the altcoins that have been doing really well lately already is Loop Ring, in which I've been, we can be relatively short about this. Higher time frame levels that we are looking at have not been hit. So when we're looking at the daily time frame for light, uh, a loop ring, we have not been hitting the support levels. But when we're looking at lower time frames, we have actually been hitting support levels, um, which we couldn't be seeing on a daily time frame. Based on this, where would I be looking at potential trades? Definitely in this range. Um, and then it's getting quite complex at this point, as then you still have to zoom in some more. And there you get a second level, which is the area at 4,600 sets. Difficult one, as this one has been running heavily too, already. Matic has been, has been going great, but this one has 10 x in the past two months, through which we usually are getting a longer period of consolidation, through which these two levels are still levels where I'd be looking at potential entry points at a certain point in given time. I'm not huge, a huge fan of chasing these trades. I'd rather want to day trade after such a big move. Um, and therefore you're looking at opportunities on coins that have not been doing too well yet. And one of them is potentially VeChain. I've been covering VeChain previously in which we said, okay, we are at this given period in time in which we are acting sideways, accumulating. We are still making lower highs, lower lows in which we retest a very important support level. And after that, we're going to have a bounce back up. What is the level that I want to see break on VeChain at this point? And I'll just get KuCoin going. At this point, we have hit a, a very important support level. So most likely the bottom is in when it comes to VeChain, right? So when we're looking at a bounce level and a crucial area that we have to break through, that is this zone around 200 sets. If that is going to break and we break and flip that, we are going to take these out and we are reversing the trend. So this is an entry zone when it comes to VeChain and this flip would also be triggering further upwards momentum in which we're going to get some serious continuation taking place on the markets. So the question is, is the bottom in for VeChain? I think it is. Is the bottom in for um, TESOS? I think it is as well. So that is my update for today. Please do not forget to subscribe beneath and also like this update if you have enjoyed it. I'll see you again really soon tomorrow with two fresh new updates.